we count the money. I got a bitch, she gon' kill for real. Talking about Clyde and Bunny. Go with the kid, copy. Got to pull up with a stick, stop it. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl KK Reese. Today reading the <coughs> what the hell? Let's try this again. Today's reading is going to be what's the current gossip on you? I hope that these messages resonate. I hope that you enjoy. And we're gonna jump right on into it. Um, I feel like this is gonna be a pretty good reading. So, like I said, take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, what's the current gossip on Pound of Boy? What's the current gossip on Pound of Okay, so we have Sodialite, the card that came out, and then at the bottom of the of the deck we have um, Azurite. I think that's how you pronounce that. It says get laser focus, and Sodialite says speak your truth. Okay, so I feel like the current gossip on you right now is you speaking the truth. You get what I'm saying? So if somebody asks you what you're doing, like um, what's your career set, what's your hobby, how you feeling today? I feel like you are going to tell the people exactly what the truth is. I feel like you are someone that's um, you're, you could be focusing on one or multiple um, particular things. So this could be like maybe multiple streams that streams of income. You could be focusing on being a family person. You could be focusing on your job, your hobby. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I just feel like you are in a space where. I feel like you're in a space where um, nothing is making you nor breaking you. How, that's not what I'm. That's not what I'm trying to say. I just feel like you are in a space where it's like because you have these goals and things that you are trying to achieve. Um, speaking your truth, telling your truth, whether that hurts a person, meaning if they stay around or they don't stick around, it doesn't bother you because you are focused on something you are very determined to do something or like i said meet these particular goals okay so let's see what else the tarot has to say make these messages as clear as possible universe spirit spirit guys what's the current gossip on pound the boy 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 we have the nine of swords. What's the current gossip on the one? We have the four of swords. What's the current gossip on the one? We have the emperor card. What's the current gossip on the one? We have the star card. What's the current gossip on the one? We have the Queen of Wands. What's the current gossip on Pound of Boy? <clears throat> Excuse me. We also have the Lovers card here. We have the Lovers card. What's the current gossip on Pound of Boy? We have the King of Wands. Interesting. What's the current gossip on Pound of Boy? Ooh, we have the Queen of Pentacles. What's the current gossip on Pound of Boy? Wow, we have the Wheel of Fortune that flew out. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Five of Pentacles at the bottom. Um, the over energy is the Five of Pentacles. The bottom of the deck is the Devil card, and we also have the Temperance card. Some of you could, um, some of you could be recently single. Some of you could have, um, you could have childhood trauma, meaning you may have daddy issues, right? Male or female doesn't matter. You may have daddy issues, or you may have been in a relationship with a karmic, or. Yeah, you could have been in a toxic relationship as well. So that's the current gossip on you. I feel like with the Nine of Swords being here, I feel like um, you may have uh, recently gotten out of depression. You know, you could have been really depressed. You could have been really sad. You could have been, you know, overthinking, overwhelmed, you know, um, over overstimulated in a sense, right? Um, and I feel like you are finally giving it a rest. With the Four of Swords being here, you see how the Nine of Swords and then we have the Four of Swords. The Nine of Swords, the depiction, she is sitting up. She looks stressed out. She can't lay down. She can't sleep. You know, things can be overwhelming. But the four of swords, you know, she's laying down. It's like, even though it's it's not fully, you're not sleeping yet, at least you um you took a step. You get what I'm saying? You took a step to, you took a step to, to lay your ass down. You get what I'm saying? I really feel like, because the way I was thinking in my head, because we're going backwards, we have the nine of swords. Then the, the, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of... Hold on. Bear with me real fast. We have the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Five of Swords, right? So 
you went through the phase of feeling stagnant, feeling stuck, feeling like you can't move on, like your thoughts was getting the best of you. Um, then, you know, we have the Seven of Swords. Um, I'm trying to think about what the hell is the Seven of Swords again? Seven of Swords. What the hell is this? Because I know what the Six of Swords look like. You know, your misery does not love company. You get away from things. You no longer is just sitting there like dwelling on the past, right? And then we have the Five of Swords. It's like, you know, you finally get in the last lab and you're trying to succeed and you're trying to do something. You know what I mean? And then we have the Four of Swords where it's just like, okay, I, I need my rest. I need, I need time. You know what I mean? Like I've been through all these different phases and stuff like that mentally. Mentally, you went through all these phases. I feel like the current gossip on you is that you are bossing up in a sense. Some of you could be also also stepping more into your masculine energy where you are not so invested or embedded. Yeah, I'm, I want to say more so invested in your feelings. You get what I mean? Like you're trying to um, find a sense of a sense of stability, a sense of um, sternness, you know, probably telling people no. You get what I mean? Like um, just not showing your feelings, not showing your emotions as much, not feeling your emotions as much. Um, and I just feel like, like I said, bossing up. I feel like with the star card being here, you know, the star is all about healing. It's all about um, being seen, being noticed, being recognized. Um, also having a following, having people following you in a sense. So it's like your healing is is, is is exuding out of your pores that other people may want to heal or people are seeing you. You know, you are... Um, because the star card is naked. So when I have naked cards, I always think about a sense of vulnerability. So in, um, I feel like the gossip, uh, the, the gossip, the current gossip on you, I can't tell the current gossip on you is that you can be very um, vulnerable at this current state. You know, things could be very raw. Like there's certain things that can come up or be said that makes you feel like, damn, like I, that still hurts. Like I still feel some type of way about this situation. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I see, I, I'm getting a sense of authenticity. I feel like you're very authentic. I feel like you're very real. Real. I can't even talk. You're very real. Um, I feel like you are a star. And you know, sometimes when you are a star and you are you shine brightly, you have like naturally you have people or things gravitating towards you. It's sometimes the wrong people that gravitate towards you because you have a good pure heart. You get what I'm saying? When you have a good and pure heart, some people tend to try to use that. You know, because we have the Queen of Wands and we also have the King of Wands. I feel like some of you could have been in a relationship where I'm not going to say a person may have turned you toxic or you may have had toxic traits. You get what I'm saying? You may have had toxic traits. You and this person, this individual, like you guys both wanted to leave. You guys both um, felt like you were attractive. You go on um, both of you guys wanted attention and things like that. You felt like this was your soulmate. And I'm not saying that was, this wasn't your soulmate, but this definitely could have been a karmic relationship where you you have learned things from this um, relationship or situation. And that's the current gossip on you is that people are saying like, okay, you know, pal number one is moving like this or acting like this because of, you know, like I said, it could be daddy issues. It could be from a... A, a toxic relationship toxic environment it doesn't even have to be a romantic partner this could be a family member this could be a, a, a work environment <clears throat> so take what resonates and i feel like um with the queen of pentacles being here i feel like you are learning to be more cautious of your spending you know maybe dressing more nicely um being more grounded as well being more at peace some of you may smoke take that as it resonates some of you um are very intrigued or you enjoy like walking and being in tune with earth. Like, you know what I'm saying? Walking on grass, sand, maybe going to the beach, things like that. Doing things to ground yourself to make yourself feel good. But the Wheel of Fortune being here, trust and believe that the current gossip on you is that you are on the right path. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're on the right path. You're doing things the right way. You know, you fix signs. You are set. You set in whatever you're doing at this current point. We have the devil. We have the, the king of swords. And we also have the magician card being here. Yeah. I feel like the current gossip on you is that... These, these unhealthy habits and behaviors or whatever the case is, because, you know, sometimes being around people, their energy rubs off on you or, you know, people that are low vibrational, whatever the case is, sometimes what they do kind of rub off on you and you feel like, like those things are right. You get what I'm saying? Like, because you've been in that situation for so long and it's like, you don't know nothing else. You don't know nothing better. But I feel like um, you are learning to, you know, think more logically, think more strategically. I feel like your mind is expanding in a sense with the King of Swords being here. I feel like you are being more open to, I feel like you are learning to communicate. That's what I was saying about the Nine of Swords and then the Four of Swords because the Four of Swords, then we have the Three, the Two and the One. I feel like you are learning to communicate. I feel like that is like your main thing. I'm not saying that you don't know how to communicate. I'm not saying that you're not smart, but I feel like you are taking the knowledge and things that you have, you know, to be more communicative i think that's the word to be just communicate things be better you get what i mean i hope that makes sense <laughs> um and with the overall energy being the five of pentacles i feel like you are tired of people like kind of leaving you or feeling like you by yourself feeling like you're a lone wolf like nobody understands you um yeah 
So let's see what else we have. What's the current gossip on pile number one? Some of you can be laser focused on getting like maybe therapy or, you know, just healing oneself. What's the current gossip on pile number one? What's the current gossip on pound the born? We have so many. What's the current gossip on pound the born? We have patience. What's the current gossip on pound the born? Um, we also have be open to change. And at the bottom of the deck, we have rest. Exactly. So I just want to say the current gossip on you is that just because, you know, we have we have many soulmates, okay? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We have many soulmates. Soulmates could be animals. Soulmates could be, you know, our family members, you know, our little fur babies or whatever the case is. But I feel like this particular soulmate, was, uh, all soulmates is, um, is part of your soul tribe and they're all meant to be in your life for a reason, whether, whether it's good or bad. You get what I'm saying? So this particular soulmate may not have been the best for you. You know, that's going to be for some, that's not going to be for all of you. Or you could be learning how to like heal yourself so you can be a a good soulmate or you you could just be in a good space when you meet another soulmate you know what i'm saying um we also have patience here and i just feel like yeah you patiently waiting to reap the benefits of like being on the right track or you know good karma you know what i'm saying so we'll be open to change be open to environments around you changing people changing um be open to experiencing better life experiencing different things you know what i'm saying uh just be a little bit open to certain things let's see what else we have make these messages as clear as possible in the verse spirit spirit guys what's the current gospel of pound number one we have prosperity what's the current gospel of pound number one We have willpower. What's the current gossip on the board? And we also have courage. So at the bottom of the deck, we do have travel. That's what I'm saying. Getting away from people, places, or things. Some people, if especially if you've been in this situation for years or a very long time, some people, they may see you and may think to themselves like, oh yeah, pound number one doesn't have the strength or the pound number one is not going to ever leave that person. They're not going to leave that situation. They're, they're not going to leave that job because of the sense of comfortability. Like they're comfortable where they're at. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like with um, the current gossip, on you is it's like wow you know you had the strength to move on you know you have the willpower to change your environment change your situation you know make something tough and make it make it your own you get what i'm saying and prosperity being here with the queen of pentacles and the will of fortune people know and even with the emperor card being here people know that you are a boss you have a boss mentality and you know whether this is working for somebody or working for yourself like you can be someone that is extremely successful and things that you do can be very lucrative to you and meaning like money flows to you um abundantly you get what i'm saying but i hope this makes sense and i hope that these messages resonated to you i hope that you enjoyed this reading if you did let me know in the comment section thank you guys so much for being here i love y'all peace out i'll catch you guys in the next one hello my beautiful pal number twos welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl kk reads so today's reading is going to be what's the current gossip on you and we're going to jump right on into this reading so i hope that these messages resonate and i hope that you enjoy this reading period all right so let's get into it what's the current gossip on pal number two What's the current gospel on pound number two? All right, so we have, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm gonna show you how it says, allow yourself to receive. Do you see the word? Oh, there we go. Nope, 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 up, 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 there you go. Don't know how to pronounce that, but y'all see the word. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we do have Black Tourmaline. It says, protect your energy. Ooh, ooh, you are stepping into your divine energy, pal number two. I love that for you. So with the current gossip on you, you wow, that's a lot of stutter, stuttering. Oh my God, I can't talk. Okay. Pal number two, the current gossip on you is, I feel like you are on a receiving tip. And I know this particular card, if I'm not mistaken, this has green. The stone is green and I think it's gold around it. I'm not sure if it's gold or it's something around it. But I know that it has um, green in it. But I just feel like um, the current gossip on you is you are in a space at this current moment 
where you are just receiving your accolades like people giving you compliments people are saying that you are such a good mom you're good you're such a good dad you're a good parent you're a good person um i feel like you have been protecting your peace you have been protecting yourself so being around people that truly love you people that really have your best interests at heart i love that that's the current gossip on you um i feel like you are in a, in a soft that space so you could be more in your divine mask um, excuse me your divine feminine energy male and female it does not matter we all embody masculine and feminine energy and if you are not mature enough to see that i don't know what to tell you but i'm just letting you know we're going to jump right on into this reading we're going to get the tower cards okay please make these messages as clear as possible universe spirit spirit guys what's the current gossip on pound number two What's the current gossip on pound number two? Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit, guys. What's the current gossip on pound number two? You guys have been protecting your peace, protecting your energy, protecting yourself. Love that for you. What's the current gossip on pound number two? We have the Ten of Cups. What's the current gossip on pound number two? We have the temperance card. What's the current gossip on pound number two? What's the current gossip on pound number two? We have the five of wands. What's the current gossip on pound number two? We have the two of swords. What's the current gossip on pound number two? We have the five of pentacles. What's the current gossip on pound number two? We have the ace of swords. What's the current gossip on pound number two? We have the death card. What's the current gossip on pound number two? We have the queen of swords. What's the current gossip on pound number two? And we also have the Queen of Pentacles. The overall energy for the reading is the Queen of Cups. And we also have the Four of Cups and we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is actually a really good reading. Some of these cards, if you are a tarot reader, you're probably like, oh, damn, that's a lot of negative cards. But it's really not. <laughs> Let me tell you. So I feel like the current gossip on you um, with the Five of the, oh, the five of Cups, with the Ten of Cups being here, you are completely, utterly in a good space this is the gossip this is what people are gossiping about how happy you are how much at peace you are you get what i mean how your cup is overflowing with um overflowing with love how you just have an emotional fulfillment how you are in a space where it's like sunshines and rainbows and unicorns all over the place you get what i'm saying and i feel like um, with the temperance being here you are avoiding any type of conflict temperance and the five of wands you're avoiding any type of conflict arguments um even negative thoughts like even when you start to feel a little bit negative you try to cut it out as much as possible you may even isolate yourself you know with the two of swords and the five of pentacles you may isolate yourself either that's like going outside taking a drive or listening to some music you get what i mean um with the ace of swords being here you are not delusional to anything that's going on around you and i feel like that's the current gossip on you and i feel like that's really appreciated i appreciate you for that and i'm not even we don't even got you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you for that because sometimes when people are so happy, they, they try to live in la-la land or be very delusional about what's going on around them. And that's not what you're doing. I feel like you have um, created this reality that is around you by um, being more nurturing, loving, caring. Like what you want from people is what you've been given to people. And if sometimes people fall short or if they are not... Um, you know compatible or like giving you the same thing you know sometimes uh, certain situations happen where you know somebody is down here and you're up here and it's like you you okay with it fluctuating you okay with it fluctuate fluctuating because that's for life you know that's for life everybody's not gonna be 100 percent every single day you respect that but once you realize that you are just giving way too much and then when you start complaining and you are you know what i'm saying you're like okay we gotta we gotta take a step back because you now you are interfering with interfering with my happiness you're interfering with, interfering with me being at peace with myself you're doing too much you know what i'm saying you're doing too much and i feel like that's the gossip on you because um yeah you you you'll sit there because we, we we have the queen of cups as the overall energy that's the energy that you embody but you also embody the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles energy you get what i mean and then we don't have the queen of wands this is what i'm saying you are not trying to be like so passionate so angry and so 
I said this and this. You're not doing that type of stuff. Like you are being smart about certain things. So with the Queen of Swords being here, it's like I'll I'll express how I feel to you. Um, I'll tell you how I feel. It might not sound nice. It might not be the best thing that you may need to hear, but it's something that you that you may want to hear. But it's something that you need to hear. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to keep myself stagnant. I'm trying to keep, I said stagnant. I'm trying to keep myself. I'm trying to keep myself at peace. I'm trying to keep myself cool, calm, and collected. Like, I just want to be grounded as much as physically possible. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, that's how you protect your peace. That's how you protect your energy. By telling people, like, this is what I'm seeing. This is how, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, basically reflecting and just, like, showing people and telling people what you're seeing. You get what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes people do things, they don't see that they're doing it. And it's like, when they see it, they, like... Or when they, somebody tells them, it's just like, that's a bunch of bullshit. That's not true. And you're just like, yeah, this is it's true. Because I'm on the outside. I'm on the outside. I'm on the outside looking in, basically. You get what I'm saying? Because people are, some people could be very used to being in a negative um, place. Being very chaotic. Being very argumentative. Being very um, competitive with, <laughs> really with themselves. You get what I'm saying? Because there's no, you can't compete when you don't compare. That's basically what I'm saying. We have the Four of Cups. We have the queen, no, the king of, the king of cups, and then we have the page of cups. Yes, everything you're doing is coming from a space of love. All these cards that came out, it's crazy because we don't have that many. Let me not say that because we have the ten of cups here, but we don't have that many cups. But you're doing everything based out of love. Sometimes you're doing things based out of your emotions. You know what I mean? But if that's how you're feeling, that's how you're feeling. Are you not supposed to express how you feel? Yes, you are supposed to express how you feel. You control your feelings and emotions. But it's like some, if something becomes very repetitive, if something becomes like you are being delusional to something, like you are seeing a person for their potential and not what's really happening, yeah, that's not fair to you. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's not fair to you. Like, you're looking at a potential. Like, I know you could love me properly, this, that, that, blah, blah, blah. But these people is really here loving me. Like, how they, how I deserve to be loved. You know what I mean? So, sometimes, yes, you do. Um, You, you have, you do control. You have, wow. You have to control your feelings and emotions. You have to be very balanced with your masculine and feminine energy. And you have to notice that sometimes people are in your life for a distraction. Some people are in, in your life for a short period of time. Like, you know, for a, a good time, not a long time. You know what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit, guys. What's the current gossip on pal number two? We have stress. What's the current gossip on pal number two? We have wisdom. What's the current gossip on pal number two? And we also have strength here. At the bottom of the deck, we have success. All right. So you want to be successful in everything. You want to be successful in love. You want to be successful. You want to be a successful um, lover. You want to be a successful friend, worker. You know, you want to be successful like in everything that you do. You want to do things as good as you can to the best of your ability. With the stress being here, you don't want any stress. You don't you want to relieve stress. You don't want to add stress, not even to your own life or anybody else's life. I feel like the go the current gossip on you. Some people may be stressed out about you because of you cutting them off or you like simply distancing yourself or you know what I'm saying? You acting different. You you reflecting what they are giving to you onto them. So, you know, sometimes people could be very stressed about that. And I feel like that's the current gossip on you that you were stressing somebody out. Somebody is stressed over you. Somebody is like, um, I'm not going to say sleep this nice, but somebody is stressed over you because... I want to say that maybe they were not ever that tapped into their emotions, but then dealing with you, they became more emotionally available or more emotionally invested in things, you know? So it can become stressful when somebody opens a door and they're not there to like basically hold your hand to go through that door. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. With the wisdom, with the wisdom being here, the current gossip is that you're very smart. You know, we have the, uh, we have the, the ace of swords being here. So that's like a double confirmation that you're very smart. You know, you wise beyond your years for some of you um or you just someone that's simply book smart or you have like you could be very book smart you could be smart and be like strategy math you know what i'm saying like you're very smart we have strength here yeah i feel like you're strong you, and you're very it's like it's a mental thing you're very mentally strong you get what i'm saying some of you could be physical but i feel like it's more of a mental thing like you don't allow yourself to um and that's exactly what I, I heard. You don't allow yourself to fall victim to certain things because it's like you see the red flags and it's like when you see the red flags, you could just go. And I feel like that's what you do. Either you go or you start to detach yourself from certain things. So maybe that person could go. I mean, that doesn't sound like the best thing in the whole world. 
I don't have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands to me is a toxic <laughs> queen, but we don't have that one. It's just like you have the strength to leave. You have the strength to move on. You have the, the strength to protect your peace. Okay. What's the current gossip on pile number two? We have well-being. What's the current gossip on pile number two? We have boundaries. What's the current gossip on pile number two? What's the current gossip on pile number two? We have commitment. That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. We have strength again. Can't make this shit up. The letter S can be significant to you in some way, shape, or form. But yeah, you always want to focus on yourself first. Always. Always. <laughs> always. Because it's like what you... You get what you deserve. I feel like you have done transformations. You have done a lot of changes with yourself or whatever. Focusing on your well-being. You know? So you have a lot of boundaries. You have a lot of boundaries. And that that's not bad for you. Maybe bad for other people. But it's like respect pound number two's boundaries you get what i'm saying like pound number two has worked really hard to have boundaries and you have a lot of self-respect so people have to respect you when people don't have no boundaries and they just wanted to do any and everything for a person that's the ones that get walked on that's the person that you know gets used like a mat you may have been there done that you get what i'm saying so it, it could be that or you simply have always been a happy person you know you come from a strong family you come from a lot of love you come from you know seeing love you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what you want for yourself and you will not settle for anything less than what you deserve. Plain and simple. Because commitments are very important to you. You are, I feel like, male or female does not matter. You are a submissive person. So when you are in a relationship or when you are in a connection with a person, you are, like, you play a role that you think that you should be playing in a role, whether this is a romantic relationship, a friendship, or a partnership. You get what I mean? So I hope that makes sense. Pound number two, that's all I really have for you. I hope that these messages resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I love you guys so much. I will catch you guys in the next read. Peace out, babies. Hello. <laughs> Hello, I'm beautiful pound number threes. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, KK Reads. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today's reading is going to be what is, what's the current gossip on you, okay? That's it. What's the current gossip on you? So we're going to jump right on into this, read this reading. I can't talk. I don't know what's been going on. I hope that these messages resonate. And yeah, let's get right on into it. Please make these messages as clear as possible in the rest of your spirit, guys. What's the current gossip on pile number three? So we have... I know... I used to know how to say it. I can't say it. Apple... Apophilite? Apophilite? I know that's wrong. I know it's wrong. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> but it says stay positive. I'm trying to get y'all to see the word. All right, it says stay positive and at the bottom of the deck, we do have Garnet and it says ignite your passion. Every time I see Garnet and even looking at this, um, the picture of the stone, I don't know if you've ever seen um, Steven Universe, I think that's what it's called. And her, her head looked like, looked like this. So I know that a lot of you guys are strong and I, <laughs> I just know you guys are strong. Some of you could be thick, you know, like if you ever decide that you want to Google it, it's Steven Universe the garnet character beautiful afro thick in the hips she's the shit okay she's the shit <laughs> but anyway i feel like the current gossip on you is that you are in a space where you could be feeling very positive you could be feeling like you're trying something and it's working out for you you could be feeling like you are on the right path that's the gossip on you um and I feel like this is more so with Ignite Your Passion. I, I, that could be anything. Your passion could be anything. Your passion could be being the best parent in the whole world, being the best chef in the, chef, the, best chef in the whole world, being the best student in the whole world. You get what I'm saying? So anything could be a passion for you. And I just feel like you are staying positive and you are still trying. Even if you're not seeing like a huge change, if you're not seeing, you're still staying positive and you're staying on that that road or path to success okay and i love that for you that's the current gossip on you let's get some more information with the tarot cards please make these messages as clear as possible in the rest of your spirit guys what's the current gossip on pound number three what's the current gossip on pound number three what's the current gossip on pound number three and i feel like you know even i'm thinking about garnet because she wears the glasses and stuff like that so i just like i said you have tunnel vision and you know that the ending of that tunnel is fucking bright. So it's like you're already prepared for it. You get what I'm saying? So like even when you was going through these dark times, 
you ain't know where the fuck you was going because you had them shades on. You just know that you had to protect yourself before you get to that sunlight. You get what I'm saying? Before you get to that um the light at the end of the tunnel. So you know you've been going through all these dark this this darkness for some of you going through all this darkness. You know what I mean? Like I said, you have these stunning shades on because you know you gotta you gotta you gotta look good for when you get to where you gonna you you feel me? You gotta look good. So I just feel like you just trust in your intuition so you can be very intuitive very um instinctive is that how you say that instinctive distinctive i'm not sure um very good with your instincts basically is what i'm trying to say yeah you just you just gotta be prepared for because on the other side it's gonna be such a beautiful thing and you know that all this hard work all this blood sweat and tears is for a reason it's for a reason but let's see what we have make these messages as clear as possible in the first spirit spirit guys what's the current gossip on pal number three we have the King of Swords. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have the Eight of Pentacles. What's the gossip on pound number three? Too many cards, thank you. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have the Star card. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have the Chariot. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have the moon card. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have the world of fortune. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have the three of wands. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have the Ace of Swords. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have the Four of Swords. The overall energy for this reading is the Nine of Swords. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Cups. I've seen 444 on the clock. And we also have the Queen of Wands. Love that. So, pal, number three. Um, The current gossip on you is one with the King of Swords. King of Swords is one of the meanest kings. It's the King of Swords and the King of Wands. Those two, me. <laughs> And it's not even, like, I feel like the King of Swords and the, um, we're going to just stick with the King of Swords because that's what's out for you. The King of Swords is not necessarily mean. He is just a person that, he's very smart, you know? Nothing that he does is for no reason. Really good on communication. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you ask, like, he might not tell you exactly what the plan is, but he's going to tell you, like, this is what I'm doing and this is why I'm doing it. And I hope that you don't feel no type of way. But if you do, you know, you can leave. It's fine. You don't have to stay here. And you're just like, oh, hmm. Maybe I do want to stay because you're very assertive. <laughs> you're very assertive, King of Swords. I like that. And you're communicating with me. I like that for us. You know, King of Swords can be very cold, very detached, but um, the King of Swords is going to tell you like it is. You, some people, because I feel like that's the current gossip on you. That's how you are. You are someone that is very clear with your communication. Some people may take it another way like you sit there and be like i'm not really looking for nothing serious at this current point in time and people be like oh my god i'm gonna change this person's mind you're just like i told you what it is i'm not looking for nothing serious right now you know you get what i'm saying like until you like you change your mind like all right this is what i want to do okay but until then you ain't looking for nothing serious right now so it's like if somebody gets invested in their feelings if somebody is expecting you to show up or show out and you just like i just told your ass <laughs> you get what i'm saying but I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, um, some of you could be working really hard to be seen, to be noticed. Maybe you are trying to um, start something up. You get what I'm saying? Start something up. I don't know. Maybe you're trying to be in a limelight, but I really feel like, I don't know why I feel like that's not really for a lot of y'all. But, you know, for some of y'all, the sprinkles that's in here that's trying to be, you know, maybe a YouTube star, a TikTok, and all these influencer things on social media. I feel like that's what you're working on. You're being very consistent with that. And with you're being very positive with that. And you're perfecting your craft. Every video that you put out is better than the last video. Um, you know, your thumbnails is getting better. Your editing is getting better. Your, um, what is it called? Uh, your, fuck. Your titles, are, your titles are being more, like, drawing people in and stuff like that. I love that. I feel like you are getting noticed. Okay, that I, I'm definitely that's something that's the gossip on you that you are getting those for your hard work and your alcohol. Like you, you getting noticed for being very consistent, and having a routine, you know, uh, setting tone for certain things and people, places and things. I'm gonna say that we have the chariot card, the moon, and we. I taste salad from when I started this reading. I tasted a salad, so I don't know. 
Maybe you had, you guys ate a burger today. Maybe you guys had a salad. Maybe you need a salad. Maybe you're thinking about a salad. Lettuce wrap or something. I'm tasting salad. But anyway, maybe you touching grass. Green. Ooh, yeah, money. Maybe. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know. But I feel like the current gossip on you with the moon, um, with the, sorry, with the chariot card, you started just moving forward really fast. And it's like you did things in secret, you know? We have the, the chariot card, the moon card. Some people never even knew what you was doing. You know what I'm saying? Some people was just like, when they seen you doing it, it's like, oh, shit. I know Pound Number 3 was working on that. I know Pound Number 3 was working on this. You know what I'm saying? And you're just like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> it's like, as you are on this, because I, I, when I seen this Wheel of Fortune, I don't know why I got like a mouse or a hamster on this, the spinning wheel. Things can be very repetitive, but it's like, as you get better, you know, the more you do something, the less tedious be it becomes, in my opinion. is It can be tedious, but it becomes less tedious because, you know, this is what you're expecting. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like, but you moving on to things, like, you, like, I, like I said, the energy is gaining momentum. And you being on the right path, because the Wheel of Fortune, for me, is a, definitely a confirmation that you are on the right path. So whatever you are doing, continue to do it, because people are talking about it and gossiping about it. And it's not even that. Like, people are knowing and they are seeing, like, okay, you know, pound number three really could be, you know, if this could be something that could really be something for pound number three. We have the three of wands, the ace of swords, and the four of swords. I really feel like people think or thought that you was going to be very lazy or you're just going to be like, oh, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. You know what I'm saying with the three of wands? Like, you know, I'm longing for this. I can't wait for this. I can't wait for this ship to sail. But you really went head first into a situation. You know what I mean? Some people are also thinking to themselves that, um, the gossip on you, excuse me, is that maybe you need to take a rest. You get what I'm saying? Because you are, you could, you could be like, you know, working as hard, especially when you, just because no matter what the job is, you get what I mean? People think that social media or being an influencer is not a real job. That is, a, a, that is very much a real job because if you was to ever stop or if you was not to post as much as you should be posting, that is you missing out on money. That is you um, missing out on what could be 30, 40 new fans or supporters. Excuse me. I don't like to call people fans. That's very disrespectful. So please forgive me. Supporters. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, how is it being an influencer not a major job? I feel like that's big. That's a bigger job than going to your nine to five that you know that you're gonna. Be, this is consistently what you're going to be getting. You Even if you was to call out, you still could be like, all right, this is what I'm... As an influencer, you call out you that's you you calling out <laughs> you get what i'm saying you 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 and that might be you might call out one day that one day may be to three days may need to a whole week you get what i'm saying so don't frown upon frown frown oh don't frown upon people that want to be influencer or, or is doing something that's unconventional just because that's not something that you would do that doesn't mean anything and i want to say pal number three continue to do what you feel like is right for you whatever your heart truly desires keep doing that stay positive for real and keep a clear mental space you know because we have the nine of swords being here you know it, it could be wearing you down or it could be on your face like you want to be more successful than what you really are and that's perfectly fine you're going to get there as long as you keep working being consistent having a routine putting out videos and content like how you're supposed to and you actually taking the time to do it as you can you know you're going to get to where you want to be at if that's what you are trying to be an influencer. And if it's not even you being an influencer on social media, you probably influencing those around you. You get what I'm saying? You're influencing those around you, like your kids, you know, your family members. Like, you're doing something, like I said, it could be unconventional or it could be something that is a typical nine to five, but you are doing the best that you can. And some people may not have a job. Some people may not have, like, you are just, you simply are people's role models. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be social media or anything like that. You are just simply somebody's role model. We have the... Ace of Cups, we have the King of Wands. What I said, I was just talking about the King of Wands, right? And the King of Wands is in here. Like, I told y'all, the two meanest kings. <laughs> so we have the Ace of Cups, the King of Wands, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles. And it's like, you have to be on this more masculine tip. You get what I mean? You have to be this very passionate community, like, and communicate certain things to people because you want to be very stable with this um, Ten of Pentacles. You have to love, you have to be pouring into yourself and keep yourself very level-headed, very level-minded when you are on grind time, okay? Well, let's get some more information. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have strength. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have happiness. What's the current gossip on pound number three? What's 
Crown Glass of One Pound Number Three. We have success, exactly. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have a leap of faith. You take it. I'm trying to tell you, do something that's very unconventional. You have to take a leap, a leap of faith. You didn't know if it was going to work out. And you don't know even if it is going to work out. You know what I'm saying? But you're still going to be trying. I feel like the current gossip on you is that you have the strength to do something that everybody cannot do. Everybody doesn't feel comfortable with doing. Being an influencer is not new, but it's definitely something that um, a lot of people is trying to do. But not everybody will be successful at it. Okay, being an entrepreneur, everybody cannot be an entrepreneur. Even if you have all the tools and aspects, that doesn't mean that you have the qualifications or you, you know, you have to still learn things to be an entrepreneur. Some people don't even like to admit that and you're not that type of person. If you need extra help, if you need something to like, that's going to help you get better as being an entrepreneur, being someone that is, um, you know, doing your own thing, you are going to speak up on that. You know, I feel like you are very strong, very hard headed, but you are still someone that is willing to listen to, to, to people who help you gain knowledge, you know, um, happiness, success. That's, that's all you want for real. You want to be happy. You want to be successfully happy. You like that, right? <laughs> What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have compassion. What's the current gossip on pound number three? We have justice. What's the current gossip on pound number three? And we also have travel at the bottom of the deck. We do have protection. So I just want to say, just real fast, you know, you're giving out what you're giving out what you want back to you. And I feel like you're a very compassionate person. I feel like you being real, being honest, people are going to be willing to be honest with you too. And I really feel like it's not a bad thing to be open and honest with people as long as you're not being an asshole about it. You know, you're still being um considerate of a person's feelings so it's like i said what you give out is what's going to be given to you with the justice card being here i don't know if you have any type of court dates or anything like that but i feel like the very verdict is in and i feel like when i see justice is most likely going to be working in your favor so take that as it resonates and with this travel being here you're going to be getting away from any type of hardships or anything that is tying you down to anything i feel like you will be moving away from that which is a beautiful thing so pal number three that's all I really have for you. I truly do hope that these messages resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I love you guys so much. I will catch you guys in the next read. Peace, babies.